Hello? Oh, hi, Stan. Hey, Dad, how come you never told me about Joseph Smith? Who? Shut up, turn, we're watching Fringe! The guy who spoke to God and Jesus. Well, Stan, God and Jesus don't actually speak to people. That's not what the Harrison said. Who are the Harrisons? The new people that moved in down the street. Mr. Harrison said that Joseph Smith spoke to God and Jesus, and they told him none of the religions were right. Oh, did he now? What are they, religious kooks? They're not kooks, they're cool. I mean, how can we never have a night where we don't watch any TV and we just do stuff together and eat and drink? We have that, Stan. It's called Friday Night Kegger. But that's just you and your friends. I can't shut up, turn! Mr. Harrison said that I need to be following Heavenly Father's plan, and I don't even know what that is. All right, that does it. Where are you going? I'm gonna go have a talk with this Mr. Harrison. If he thinks he can fill my son's head with wacko religious crap, he's wrong. Randy, don't cause trouble. Let me handle this, Sherry. You gotta put these cult people in their place or else they never stop. I'm gonna go kick this Mr. Harrison's ass. Is, Mr. Harrison a, is a white guy, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go kick his ass. Goddamn religious kooks. Tell my son what to believe, will you? We'll see how you like my fist in your ass. Hello! Yeah, are you Mr. Harrison? I sure am. The, the name's Gary. Well, look, my kid was just over at your house and he... Uh... Oh, you're Stan's dad! It's so nice to finally meet you! Karen! Mr. Marsh is here! Uh, look, I just want to tell you that... Oh, Mr. Marsh, what a treat! It's so nice to meet you! Well, thanks. Uh... Karen just finished baking the most amazing Rice Krispie squares. With chocolate frosting. Come on out of the cold. You gotta try one. Or six. <laughs> I cannot tell you how wonderful it is to have you over. I hear you're a geologist. That is so amazing. Look, uh, I actually came over because I'm a little concerned about some of the things you told my son. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. You know, about God and stuff. Oh. Oh, boy. You think we were trying to convert him? Well, I... Oh, Mr. Marsh, I am so sorry. We just moved here from Utah, and we're so used to everyone being Mormon that we... Oh, we forget not everyone wants to hear about it. Oh, boy, you must be furious. Well, no, no, I just... You just heard your son talking about religious ideals that aren't your own, and you said, who the heck do these people think they are? I, I'm really, truly sorry, Mr. Marsh. It won't happen again. You can call me Randy. Randy, the last thing we want is for people to think we're pushing our religion. We know there are a lot of beliefs out there, and ours just works for us. To each his own, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, to be honest, I've never known any Mormons. I don't even know what you people believe. Who was this Joseph Smith guy? Why did he believe that Native Americans were actually white people from Jerusalem? Well, because he found ancient books they had written on gold plates, right where the angel Moroni said they would be. So, how'd it go, Clubber Lang? You kicked Mr. Harrison's ass? Not exactly. We're, uh, having their family over for dinner tomorrow night. See? That's what happened to me! Sharon, did you know this guy Joseph Smith found a New Testament to the Bible buried here in America? What are you talking about? Well, it's just that the Harrisons are really nice people, and you should see how loving and together their family is. I, I think there's something to that religion. That's what they made me think, too. All right, that does it. From now on, our family is Mormon. Hey, Stan, how was your date last night?